PowerPoint Practice 3. To begin, start PowerPoint. Notice how it opens in Backstage View. Under Open, browse to locate your PowerPoint Practice 2 and select Open. Select File, Save As, Browse, and then navigate to your PowerPoint folder on your flash drive or other location where you save your files. Name the presentation as your last name, underscore your first name, underscore PowerPoint, underscore practice, underscore three. There should be six slides in your slide deck. Ensure your presentation is in normal view and select slide five. Compare your screen to the example. With slide five active, on the Home tab in the Slides group, select the arrow under New Slide and add a new slide with the title and content layout. This will be your new slide six. In the Click to Add Title placeholder, type Students Succeed Here. In the text box below the title, add a bulleted list with the following. Ensure the default bullet of a right-facing arrow is applied to the list. Select all of the text in the bulleted list and ensure the font size is 28. On the View tab in the Show group, check the box next to Ruler to show the vertical and horizontal ruler. This may already be applied. On the Insert tab in the Images group, select Online Pictures. Use the Bing Image Search to search for a success image. Insert an image of your choice onto slide 6. With the picture still selected, on the Picture Tools Format tab, click the dialog box launcher in the size grouping to launch the Format Picture dialog box. Set the height of the picture to 2 inches and the width of the picture to 3 inches. If necessary, uncheck the Lock Aspect Ratio checkbox. Compare your screen to the example and then close the Format Picture dialog box. Select the image and move it slowly to the left and right, up and down. Notice how markers, or SMART guides, appear on the slide and on the ruler. Use the SMART guides to align the picture at approximately the half inch mark on the vertical ruler and the three inch mark on the lower half of the horizontal ruler. Use your best judgment to align the picture in the white space in the lower right hand corner of the slide. With the image still selected, on the Picture Tools Format tab, under Quick Styles, apply the Drop Shadow Rectangle Style to the image. Use the Format Painter to apply the same quick style to the pictures on slides 2 and 3. With slide 4, Athletics, selected, on the Insert tab in the Illustrations group, click the arrow next to Shapes and under Stars and Banners, select Explosion 1. Draw another explosion shape, slightly smaller than the one that is already there. The shape can be anywhere on the slide for now. With Shape still selected, on the Drawing Tools Format tab, Select the arrow next to Shape Fill and select the eyedropper. Use the eyedropper square window to move to the right of the slide and find the color RGB Light Blue. Apply that color to the smaller explosion image. With the smaller explosion image still selected, move it so that it is layered on top of the larger explosion image. Use the resizing handle to resize the lighter blue explosion image so that it is now larger than the so that it is now larger than the darker blue explosion image after resizing height of about 4 inches and a width of about 5 inches with the lighter blue explosion still selected right click inside the image and select send to back this will set the larger lighter blue image behind the smaller darker blue image move the images so that they layer on top of each other Select the smaller, darker image first. Press and hold the control key on your keyboard and then select the larger, lighter blue image. With both images selected, on the Drawing Tools Format tab in the Arrange group, select the arrow next to Group and then select Group. Notice how the two images are now grouped together and can be moved as one image. Compare your slide 4 with the example. Select Slide 6 so that it is the active slide. On the Home tab, in the Slides group, insert a new slide with the title and content layout. This will be the new Slide 7. In the Click to Add Title Content placeholder, type Enrollment Steps. In the text box below that, click the Smart Art icon to add a Smart Art graphic to display the Smart Art Graphic dialog box. In the Smart Art Graphic dialog box, under Process, select Step Down Process and then press OK. 
Enter the following text in order in the text boxes. Note, to add text to a smart art, click, click on text and then start typing, or launch the Type Your Text Here box by clicking the right facing arrow on the left border of the smart art. With the smart art still selected, on the Smart Art Tools Design tab, select the arrow next to Change Colors. Under Accent 2, select Gradient Range Accent 2. With the Smart Art still selected, under Quick Styles, under Best Match, select Intense Effect. Select the entire Smart Art and move it up slightly so there is additional white space below it. Deselect the Smart Art. With Slide 7 still active, on the Insert tab in the Text group, Select the arrow under Word Art and select the Fill Blue Accent 1 Shadow Word Art Style. In the text box, type Register Early. Click the outer edge of Word Art text box to move it below the Smart Art. With the Word Art still selected, on the Drawing Tools Format tab, in the Shape Styles group, select the bottom to see additional shape styles. Select the second shape style under Theme Styles Colored Outline Blue Accent 1. If necessary, decrease the font size of the word art to 32 and center the shape under the smart art. Compare your slide 7 to the example. On the review tab, under proofing, run spelling and grammar check and make any corrections. Save your presentation and take note of where it is located. There should be a total of 8 slides in your slide deck. Compare your presentation to the example and make any modifications if needed. Close out of PowerPoint and submit your entire presentation per your instructor's instructions. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.